every single time when Twitter went down during the early days from 2008 to 2013, people will see this art on the internet. And uh, it was actually my original art piece. What's really interesting is this piece also became the icon of Web 2.0. It engages users from around the world, from Japan to Australia, from Tokyo to New York street art, from Legos, from Denmark, and Singapore public transit. We have cakes around the world, and we also have drinks from Fail Whale Pale Ale Beer Label Contest to the Fail Whale Martini at the Shorty Awards. We also have fashion reinterpretation of the whale. What's really amazing is I was able to connect with users around the world and see their own creativity being released by using the whale as a medium to express themselves. Somebody actually loved it so much and tattooed it on the leg. That's a user from Florida. His name is Critter. The original name of the artwork was called Lifting a Dreamer. It was a piece that I did back in 2006 or 7. And as soon as it became the internet icon of Twitter's fail page, users started to generate the name fail whale. And this is two of the very first people that calling it fail whale and the name catches on. But on my personal side, when I initially created the artwork and people started to associate this with failure, it forced me to look at the very etymology of failure. Here, I'd like to redefine failure for you because that is also part of my journey. The word fail in English was based on Latin, feret, which is deceive. And I was also looking at the word fail from a Chinese perspective. If you look at the word from simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese, and trace it back to the oracle bone script, because Chinese is a very visual language, you can see the word fail in Chinese character consists of two parts. The left part means treasure, which is bay, and it's originated or simplified from the word ding, means expensive, chalice. And on the right, it's actually a hand holding a wand or a stick. So the Asian meaning of bai, the word in Chinese of failure, literally means destroy something precious and establish something new. So it's actually a quite neutral word. There's nothing bad or good about fail. It's just destroy something that doesn't serve the purpose and build something new. After the Twitter fail well took off at the time, I was a young artist, just came out of the school. And I was also experiencing a lot of challenges. It took me months to really figure out what I'm going to create next. I came across Conan's goodbye speech on NBC. If you work really hard and if you're kind, amazing thing will happen. That sentence really resonated with me. And that was the moment I was deciding I'm going to keep working and keep establish something new. Little do I know, eight months later, his team reached out via an email and said, Yu Ying, we like your Twitter whale and we would love to invite you to do a piece for Conan's new show. I created this piece and it's called the Conan Pale Whale because he's pretty pale and he's riding a whale. And the work itself also connected me with friends in San Francisco, even though I've never actually even been to America until 2009. What's also really amazing is getting Conan's endorsement of the whale riding art piece. To me personally, I think it's a journey for me as an international person connecting with global community. But on the bigger picture, it is also an opportunity for tech company from around the world started to establish this new way of connecting with their users, with creativity and playfulness. It speaks to a global audience from around the world. If you look at the traditional tech arrow page, in this case, the blue spring of death, it serves the same function. It is a visual piece to tell people, hey, something is wrong with the technology and we're working really hard on this. But the difference is the Twitter whale, in this case, it was using visual language, the color, the shape, transcends the linguistic barrier. And this is perhaps the reason why people from around the world associate with this image and also see themselves in it 
and started to express themselves creatively 